Welcome to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games talking about games and game design. Games, games, games. Speaking of games, today we're doing Vagrant Story! Ooh, and we don't normally play old games or AAA titles. Well, I guess we've been playing AAA titles a little bit more lately, but this is an old one. It's one of and, my favorites. And even better, we're playing it because you guys voted for it. Though, to be fair, we your choices were either more over Overland or two retro AAA titles, but we, we kind of wanted to switch it up. Nathan has been actually pestering me that we play more a, a uh, numbers-heavy game on the show. Yes. So, obviously, so RPGs we were kind that. of the, the obvious choice. Boom. Vagrant story. So, this is one of my favorite uh, games of the past. Um, and I've never actually played this game. I don't know what it's about other than the fact that, like, it's made by Square and... Actually was... made by the same lead designer as uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. In fact, I think he's really? even been quoted saying that they ha they exist in the same world. So now, is this a tactical game lines. or is this an RPG? Like more, I guess, of those two. It's hard to explain. Um, did you ever play the game Summoner? Uh, I've played a couple of games that could be that game. I'm not no. sure. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, you're the worst. Um. <laughs> it's, uh, I guess it's closer to um, an action RPG of days, like, gone by. Like, I, I, it's, it's hard to explain because not many games have done a system like this. Have you found Sydney? Not yet, sir. <laughs> nah. I really do like these graphics, though. The, they they kind of went out of their way to, to put a little love into the art style. Put out the fires, or we'll lose the manor, and all will be for naught. Split the knights into groups, into two groups, one to douse the blaze, and the other to exterminate the traitors. Right away, sir. <laughs> yes. Dude, nice earrings. Right? Although, kind of cool that we could tell that his facial features had earrings and like things like that right you, he, he was pointing out an old guy at the beginning of the like opening oh, cutscene. So like, good. he's such an old man he's, he's, he looks he's like a bulldog <laughs> bulldog old man where are you Sydney ah oh, straight to credits yep they do like this uh, so this if you've seen from so far the text that comes up it's almost in this interesting like comic book feel mm. kind of uh, they had a definite theme they were going for with the game. Uh, what I one thing I do really like about this game is that uh, Vagrant Story, when they're making it, they chose to go an art like a specific artistic style, um, and that was really rare back in the day because it was risky, because art like going for a style is is you know can be dangerous if it doesn't sell well. Yeah, especially if you look at games from different regions, like you you see like Final Fantasy. And then all games were like, we have to be like Final Fantasy. Yeah, exactly. And, and you uh, see kind even, of bland, and same thing over and over again. It's even, the, we're, I mean, we're even seeing that now, right, in Western AAA titles where it's like, hyperrealism is the only way, 60 FPS, like, highly detailed graphics. And then you get games like Splatoon, and you're just like, oh, it's so amazing. Yeah, it's great. Because it's different, and it's so, like, charming in its own way. So the moves are dealing with, torch the chambers and kill the hostages. Aye. Damn pirates. <laughs> Yarr. <laughs> the dude's not doing anything. He's just like, right, yeah, right, we'll, no, okay, we'll, we'll do whatever you say. All right, now that he's gone. He's gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this character right there, his name is Ashley Riot. Riot. Le. And Riot. He, Ashley Riot. And he is the main character of the game. He is immediately, like, narrative wise, they immediately tell you how much of a badass he is because. He walks into the manor that is set on fire and then cuts the gate behind him so nobody can get out. Nice. Right? We have no time. Let's finish this before the blades arrive. Right, let's do it quick and get out of here. Oh, bad Shit. luck. Bad luck, Ashley, right? You know, sometimes boxes just fall. I don't know. It's, 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 it's bad luck. <laughs> it's not his fault. Right? He's like, I think they found me. I like his. <laughs> Here we go. I like his like apron of a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Oh whoa. Okay. So, so this is not necessary. This is, is this turn based or is it? 
real it time. It is action based, but there are pauses in between when you can attack and when your opponents attack. So is it so. kind of like Transistor? I mean, to compare it to a modern game, I guess? Yes. Actually, that would probably be a pretty close comparison. Huh. As, as close as I can think of right now. So you can, you open oh, a whoa. sphere at which you can attack, and now you have different locations that you can hit. Um, oh, okay. I already see why you like this game. This is right? not what I was expecting when you were saying numbers heavy game. So right now the game is pretty, notice he had an exclamation mark, meaning he's ready to attack. Um, so early in the game, it's pretty um, easy, forgiving. It's incredibly uh, all of above yeah all of the above. However, at the same time, it's uh it's it's simple because so what's cool is they show you like your percentage to hit as well as how much damage you deal, and usually there's oh, a wow. risk reward system. And each body part has its own HP. Yes, uh, so it's kind of like uh, the character has their full hit points. In addition, they also each body part has a certain amount of damage it can take. So say I just like whack at your leg and just knock that completely out, does then, the guy just fall down and you can... Uh, no, nothing cool like that. Um, uh. They take the RPG approach, so like if your legs take enough damage, your movement's halved. Um, if, your right, oh, okay. if your right hand is injured enough, then you your, ch your chance to hit or damage is greatly reduced. Left hand is usually your shield arm, so then your blocking mm. chance goes down. Head, you go blind or silent. I think it's silent. And then body, I think you just suck. So, hmm. yeah. It's it. Well, have you found it? <laughs> it's no use. There's nothing like that here, anyway. Keep, Keep looking, looking, damn you! I'm telling you, Sydney. The nights are nearly upon us. Yeah, it's a pretty good voice for him, because <laughs> that character's always bitching. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Stop your whimpering. <laughs> You've come this far only to leave empty-handed. Now search. <laughs> you is it going to die? Uh, we're just gonna let them sneak past. <laughs> he's he's actually. I was thinking about this before. I was like, how would you describe what this character is trying to do? He's an assassin knight. <laughs> assassin knight. <laughs> he's the assassin that sneaks past all the mooks so he can confront the other people one on one. Curse the duke. Where's he hidden it? You sure the Duke really has it? Does the damn thing even exist? I'm really pale. <laughs> you doubt me, Harden? You doubt my power? F f forgive me, I did not intend. But Sydney, any longer there will be no escape for us. Fine then, bring the boy and come with me. They certainly had some interesting choices for uh, costume design. <laughs> that is kind of the biggest complaint about it. Um, they, As I said, they were going for a specific style of art, but don't do Sydney. Da -da -da. Is Sydney like the main antagonist? Yes. Okay. He, a slight <laughs> spoiler, he becomes more of an anti-hero antagonist. He's still totally a bad dude, but he's kind of like the mm. bad dude you learn to like. I have a book on named at your heart. And plus he's wearing creepy claw gauntlets. I was going to say, he's got like real pointed fingertips. Now turn around slowly. Nothing wrong could happen here. <laughs> Man. You're no knight, are you? <laughs> Just think about how much better the situation would be if he had body armor. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of <laughs> Gauntlets and no shirt. Uh, and, a, and a tattoo on his back. Or is it a tattoo? Bind your legs with that rope. Ah, a risk breaker. A royal guard dog. So risk breaker is the title that the main character has. Ah. And so a not assassinate. <laughs> you know. <laughs> this, this translates into the same thing. <laughs> do not hear me bind yourself now. I'm going to do it. I got a crush pumpkin. This is an unfortunate turn of events. Me, 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 me. Oh no! Ooh. 
Well, I didn't see that. Well, I guess I kind of saw that coming. But <laughs> just, <laughs> you expect him to, like, bounce off a wall or something, and then... How, he's how like, great, though, would it be if he actually just died here, and you're like, well, this character <laughs> that they've built up this entire intro sequence, he's just... He just died. All right, cool. It's better if it was just, Moving like, on. game over. You win. <laughs> Sooner. Oh, shit. What? Oh, no. I am the only one you want. Uh, it must be chilly in here. Oh, go quickly, go to Leomond. But I have this boy thing. <laughs> you stop. I like that it made that like pulling out of the sheath noise when there's no sheath. Yeah. My favorite is when it does that like when you pull out a bow. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think sound is it got mixed up. <laughs> budget cuts and stuff. definitely budget cuts. <laughs> Was this game successful? I think you could compare it more to a creeping success. Um, so kind of like critically acclaimed. Yeah, it's it's actually on many like many reviewers and stuff that mm. like go back and review old games they say that this is usually the top like one or two game of oh. ps of the ps era they're like this is the best ps game now there's you know arguments that could be done there because like you're also trying to compete with star ocean second story yeah um and g don't get me wrong neither of those two are my favorite ps game like tactics definitely is but it, those are like Star Ocean Second Story might actually be the best. Hmm. Um, anyway, so now he's like, ah, oh, fairy tales could be real. To talk! Ah! Oh shit. And shit just got real? Oh, things escalated quickly. Oh no. I like how it was like, you know, he was impaled and then just like down for the count. And then he was like, haha, just kidding, I am invincible. <laughs> and then he's just like, and then he beats you down and you're like, oh no, what am I gonna do? And then he's like, he's oh, like just kidding. Dragon. I still have a, a bolt through my chest. <laughs> There's blood. Here's a dragon instead. Yeah, like, it's, it's hard for He's doing all the dot dot dots. The ellipses. <laughs> ellipses nice. talk. <laughs> So, uh, what I like about this is, like, your first big fight here is a wyvern with a bunch of arrows already in him. So, uh, yeah, like, I was gonna say, you he can already... already see he's injured. I mean, I guess there's some kind of, like, battle going on outside. There, yeah, there's actually, I mean, it's implied that there's a lot of fighting. Right now, what's going on is there's the Knight's Blades, which are, um, basically crusaders, I guess. Mm. Uh, then there are, or I guess Knights Templars is, yeah, more like Templars. And then there's the Inquisitors, which, um, work hand in hand with the Risk Breakers. And then there's the Dukes, man. It's the whole political and fighting. Hmm. But we can fight this, uh, dragon here. In the next episode. In the next episode. Yeah. So question of the day. Um, did you, I mean, did you have one in mind? Not really. Okay, so I actually I want to kind of talk about the 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 like limb selection. Thing. Oh yeah. Um, because so obviously like, I was disappointed that you know if you take out a guy's leg he's not like crawling around. But obviously that wouldn't make much sense. So I guess from a design standpoint, there's the the characters get a statistical disadvantage. Um, but uh, what else would you? want to see in a game like this that would be appropriate for this time era because obviously like you know having them crawl around on the ground would be a little like much do art assets for every single one yeah like it makes sense for and... a game like bushido blade right because that's what the game is yes but that for... was its main like basically its main mechanic mm -hmm. to be that realistic but for this like it's an rpg so it's a lot harder to have more to it and a statistical disadvantage would make a lot of sense but i almost wonder if there's more they could have done with it um, so I, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess what what would you guys want to see? Yeah, good question. Obviously, it's not going to change at this point. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, good stuff. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to vote if you want to see more of this, or if you want to see one of these other two games that are up here, um, because we're going to keep playing it for whichever games we put up there. Yeah, I, we, we I'll haven't decided probably yet. subtly manipulate Chris to pick a different old game, and then that's all you'll see out of us forever. 
We did get a request to play Game Dev Tycoons. So maybe I'll put that up there. Ooh. We anyway. Joked, we've joked about that one. But yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>